British is while he's attached to the character, like, it is such an iconic thing. You need to have those counter picks sometimes if it's not going to work out. Uh, either way, Zombie. we're going to see the sweep here. Zombie! Eat brains. He knows I'm commentating. We'll see. This is going to be a <laughs> very rush matchup. They're green. Wow, already. Yep. All right, yeah. This is a very aggressive matchup. Um, Falcon... So, hmm. Throws mining. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I see you, Radish. <laughs> I guess that's just weird. I know Radish just used to think this matchup was, like, kind of free for Steve, but then he fought Arcsite and Sordank a lot, and kind of, I guess they kind of figured it out, so now Radish is like, hmm, maybe so Falcon yeah. does have some stuff. Players learn after they fight each other a lot, so. Yeah, I will say, when Falcon gets off stage, there's not a lot he can do. That anvil is kind of brutal. Yeah, the anvil and also just creative mode being able to just put you out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, when Falcon gets his in, though, Steve eats yep. damage. There's not much to Steve's disadvantage against Falcon in particular is very low. And mostly he's starting to take advantage of it. But right now, he's Ooh, eating disadvantage geez, against Steve. 70, and he's got the block ready. Watch out for the grab. Perfect DI right there by Radius. Yeah. And Sir Dink also getting rid of that block just in case. I think Radish was also trying to tech that, uh, the block to live. Yeah, I think he was aiming for it. <laughs> Bro was waiting. He was just standing there. All right. Dash attack beats out the uh, Minecraft. Uh-oh. No, you're good. You're good. That's a, ooh. Very, very worried. I'm just seeing that block floating in the air, and I always just get scared. I'm like, do they know? Like... Sir Dank does. He, he's played against Radish. <laughs> it's just that, like, you know, you see it so many times, sometimes you forget. That forward air. Yeah, that'll do it for sure. Minecart's forward air. Be classic. It doesn't even have a diamond yet. Hasn't even mined it out. And they're almost on their last stock speed. Yeah, I mean, this stage is kind of, it's on the smaller side. Uh, you're fighting Falcon, who does not give you a lot of time to mine. Uh, Falcon also gets hit by this a lot. <laughs> he almost died off of it. Smartly held out. Yeah. For the right reason. Not nearly as vulnerable as like Fox, but it's it still still eats those jabs a lot. There's a diamond, but we're not gonna use it this stuff probably. I'm, I'm actually really liking that pacing gameplay from Rodacious. He's just kind of waiting, trying to scope out what Sir Dank wants to do because he has the power to just kind of wait. Yeah, Nair's at a disadvantage, kind of need that, and that's Ooh, probably gonna do it. Double jump. Yeah. <laughs> Up tilt into the back air. That diving back there will kill Falcon in 91 because that is the nature of the character. Cloud back air, or not cloud, diamond back air, go for <laughs> It goes burr. All right, Radacious takes game number one. That was pretty close though. Serdink, I feel like just wasn't able to find his openings. Uh, when he did, he kind of found an opening like the very start of that game. You saw Radacious took like 70 at the very beginning, but past then, Serdink didn't really find any openings that he needed. We'll see if that changes here in game number two. PS2 definitely being oh. a bit more of a neutral stage. Was that has the iron. Was that a hard read on Sir Dank doing a Raptor boost? I feel like he was hard reading Sir Dank starting out with a Raptor boost and just put a TNT down the counter. I, I could see it. Definitely was a choice, but. All right, and so I'm talking about. Sir Dank finds that opening. Steve is at 88. And just completely misses the ledge. That is not good for mentality at all. Sir Dank face palming at that. Yeah, unfortunate. Playing from behind after such an early lead with the percent. It's just not, that's just not good at all. This is three techs in a row. Rodacious, gotta get that tech somewhere. All right, dash tech. Lost DI, but still living. I'm surprised he lived from that. It must have been just the lack of rage, honestly. Oh, oh what the? Okay, okay. I, I have never seen that in my life. When I mash Falcon Kick. I think, yeah, but Sir Dink had to know that interaction was going to play out like that, because yeah. he definitely mashed Falcon Kick like that on purpose. Isn't yeah. that, is that the Obama Sunrise, or is that a different one? You the know it! Shout out to Sir Dink patented the, uh, the Obama Sunrise. <laughs> it's so iconic. When he told me that, I was like, there's no way you have a combo move named the Obama Sunrise. That only works against Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, forward tilt. Oh, this okay. is the Sir yeah. Dank. 
Surdank has that X Factor. Definitely that weight, that patience, and the there knee with the rage that's gonna do it. And he just lets it rip sometimes, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Rage is looking rather unfazed oh. by it though, yeah. What a weird interaction. Yeah, kind of beat out the Falcon Kick. I think because the platform was there, Surdank landed on the platform, therefore the hitbox ended. Gets it by both hits of Minecart into the forward air, into his shield poke back air. And now it- 86, huge. Yeah. And now he just has nowhere to go, no jump. Yeah, and now I think you just go down with the Envil and win. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay. This game's so stupid. <laughs> I, this game's so stupid. You know what? I'm taking notes. Spill the house on him. I'm taking notes. I'll use that one later. I think <laughs> the thing also about Renacious' yes, block placement Rages. compared to like previously, he's doing a lot of block places where he places only one or two, but they're in such great places that like it's hard for your opponent to get around them and still does the effect that like a huge wall would. So he's saving a lot of those resources for later that he doesn't have to waste them on building walls that Sir Dan can get around. Not this time. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, actually, the reason he might be using TNT here is he wants to get rid of his dirt and wood, because this stage only gives you stone, and stone is better for building walls. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. I forgot. There was that one 40-minute Steve How to Beat Steve video that some Japanese player made that I watched. You and think he I watched about YouTube? True. I know. There was this 40-minute video by a Japanese player. He was just like, Paris how to beat Steve, and it's like 40 minutes long, and he goes over various things. That's one of the things he goes over. He says, Steve will use TNT to get rid of his dirt on PS2. Oh. And I guess Redacious is doing that now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, wait, what Wow, waited too, and yeah, it's just gonna end up dying for it. I like the idea of trying to cover the tech chase with the upbeat, but a little too late there. Oh, oh no, you're- the tech read, but it doesn't matter because Steve is just built different. Real. Uh oh. Oh, oh. yeah, that's death. All right. This Holding in too much. Radacious is on his last stock. Yeah, this Surdank has the momentum. This is definitely a Surdank game right here. They are very green. Two green characters on a green stage. Yeah, that's gonna do it. If I think of a color to this song, it would also be green. Radacious is teaching me how to do that. I, I should be doing that instead of the walls. Yeah, the overhang gives you a little bit of survivability and a little cave of life. Yeah. Rachis catches you playing Steve, he'll, he'll teach you Steve stuff. Oh, Miss Tech, wow. And here it comes again. Oh, going high though. Smart. And since Radish has already committed to his down tilt, he's not able to cover it. So Radacious on his last stop, running a little low on resources, only iron and stone left, two iron. Yeah, he has to find a man chance to mine. Yeah, he's been going super hard on the edge guards and the aggressions, but you'll find his resources yep, if Arlo is. needs to do some mining. Yeah, find your resources. Hasn't gotten the diamond yet. A little bit extra. Oh, uh, don't don't get cool kitted. Don't get don't Still let it happen it, again. Not again. Don't let it be you. I mean, those well gets out the gold just in time. I mean, I've seen Renishes make crazier comebacks against Bayonetta, but Cat and Falcon is not Bayonetta. Uh, being having to use that iron that you could be using on hand bills and my yeah. card, it's it just hurts to see. Yeah, he has nothing. He has gold tools. If that gold pickaxe breaks, he is done. Crow's got empty pockets. Oh, never yep, mind. He got the diamond, but die. not. That's the startup we can uh, Falcon kick. That's absolutely gonna kill. If that yeah. makes sense. That is a Sir Dink spent. I can't see any other Falcon use Falcon kick without picking. Oh, Sir Dink. Falcon kick in neutral. Mm -hmm. Or uh, neutral get a falcon kick. It hits different. I once saw Arceus do neutral get up falcon kick, and I'm like, wow, he's taking notes from Sir Dank. We're I mean, it, if it works, you know. We're watching Sir Dank vods. Hop in VC. We're studying Sir Dank vods. Okay, starting things off here once again. PS2. Both players feeling comfortable on the stage. Uh oh. That could have been a nasty combo. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Oh, the anvil yeah. broke the um the block. That was the situation where you're screwed either way. So it ain't kind of looking out there. I need to do, do that. I need to start doing that. 
sorry. Every time I, I, <laughs> I'm slowly converting. It's an issue. Most change in the speed. Or zombie, I should say. True. Hashtag eat brains. Serving's brain being eaten. Some of the options that he's picking right now. The final one of <laughs> uh, the flint and steel doing 8%. That's a lot. Yeah. Double multi hit, that's kind of crazy. That's still spiked? That's crazy. I guess gold, yeah. Yeah, definitely Redacious looking to close out this set. Has Diamond still on his first stock. He's looking to just finish the set. Ow. Eats the fat down smash out there. Or up smash. Or down air up smash. You know. Got your ears and smash and stuff. Yeah. All right, class the diamond, but eats an up throw for it. I feel like down throw could have been some damage. Certainly oh. could find an early kill here. Get rid of that diamond and take the lead. He just needs to find that one hit. Just find his way back into the advantage uh, state. Okay. The weak falcon kick, yeah. The minecart's throwing out, just trying to get some damage. Oh! Backs into the dash attack. You don't see it like Redacious. Yeah. I feel like he was just oh. trying to tech the block, but I and your 86. Sorry. Should try harder. Yeah, you're dead. So oh, no, made that. Yeah. I could have sworn that was going to be it. So just because of how fast. So Redacious was going for there. If you place the anvil on a block and then minecart off the anvil, it's good. It's strong anvil. Yeah, it's still anvil. strong. The thing is, that move was programmed by unpaid interns. So when you minecart off of it, it acts as its seed is still on it, and it still does the max damage, which kills at 80. I find it really <laughs> funny that speed people didn't find out their tech until after the updates I did. Radish is taking that three to one. I'm speaking the truth. Don't censor me. I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> Ever since it got discovered.